Hi, in this video, I will demonstrate how to connect Microsoft Excel to a PostgreSQL database. We'll be using the table from the previous video, namely the DHT underscore data table, which receives data from an ESP8266. We'll learn how to retrieve and display this data in Excel. Let's get started. First, activate the developer tab so that we can create VBA macros. In the Excel options window, go to the customize ribbon section and check the developer option on the right pane. The next step is to check the version of Excel we are using. Open the about Microsoft Excel window, usually located in the account section. At the top, you can see the version of Microsoft Excel. For example, on my computer, it is Microsoft Excel 64 bit. Next, install the PostgreSQL ODBC driver according to your Microsoft Excel version. In my case, I will install it for Excel 64-bit. You can download all the files used in this video. The links are available in the video description. Next, in the Windows search, look for ODBC. Then select ODBC 64-bit to configure the ODBC connection to the PostgreSQL database. On the System DSN tab, click the Add button. In the Create New Data Source window, choose the PostgreSQL driver and click Finish. In the ODBC Setup window, fill in the database configuration details such as database name, server, port, username, and password. Click the test button to verify if the connection is successful. You can also access the ODBC data source through exe file in the syswow64 folder within the Windows directory. In a PostgreSQL database, you might need to edit the following file in the PostgreSQL installation folder to establish a connection. The first file is pg underscore hpa.conference. The next file is postgresql.conference. Skip editing these files if the connection is already established successfully. Here is an example table that we will use, consisting of columns, time, temperature, and humidity. The data for these columns is sent by ESP8266. In the Excel file, I store the connection parameters on the reference sheet, which include DSN corresponding to the ODBC we've created before, followed by server address, user, password, and database name. These parameters will be consistently used in every query within the Visual Basic code. This is the reference I use in this project. Ensure that the required references have been selected. Here is an example procedure used to check the connection to the database. Ensure that the DSN, user, password, and database variables are retrieved from the reference sheet, as explained earlier. When the test connection button is pressed, it will execute the procedure to check the connection and display a message box. Next, on the data sheet, we will find the procedure code to display the last 20 records from the database in the following table when the Get Data Command button is pressed.
following that is an example code to display data from the database into a list box on a user form. All files used in this video are shared, and the link is provided in the video description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next video.